archaic period, the climate becomes less arid, the megafauna is gone, the mammals, mastodons, and so on. By the way, the Withlacoochee is a great place to find the bones of mammoths and mastodons and their teeth and that sort of thing. In fact, I met a guy on the river. I was kayaking down the river. This guy and his daughter were collecting, looking for artifacts in the shallows, stopped chatting with them and so on. And he goes, you know, you can find mustadine teeth on this river. <laughs> Mm. And I'm kind of, I didn't know grapes had teeth, you know. Mm. Uh, and then it hit me, he was trying to say, mastodon teeth and so on. He's describing it, you know, block wide and ridges and everything. Um, the megafauna is gone by this period. They're hunting deer, any other game. The climate is approaching what we know today. Warmer, wetter, etc., etc. Um, they tended to establish their camps around water sources. Not necessarily rivers in South Georgia. Lakes tended to be a little bit less fluctuating, so a lot of archaic sites around the big lakes. Uh, we see population starting to increase during this period of time. This is during the period in which. Um, they start being able to fashion vessels out of clay, which is, enables better storage, transport, and you can cook uh, with them and so forth. So clay vessels start um, by the middle of the late archaic. There probably was a river then. There would have been probably some sort of consistent flow. The climate changed a great deal during the archaic period, but by at least the late archaic period, probably we would start to see something we call the Wichita. Um, this is also the period where fish traps were established on the Wichita. There are fish weirs on the Wichita, stone weirs. There's one um, south of. Uh, Madison Blue Springs. I uh, had uh, I was fortunate enough to survey that in a helicopter uh, back in February with one of the Florida State archaeologists. Um, there may be more fish weirs on the Wichita as well. It's thought that some of those uh, shoals uh, that you pass over as you step down may actually, at least a portion, have been man-made. Uh, Florida state archaeologists, most of the sites along the Withlacoochee uh, are from the archaic period. So uh, down in Florida, the Withlacoochee watershed supported a fairly large population of people. Uh, they were taking fish, turtles, deer, lots of stuff. Let's move up and talk a little bit. 